I'm a little bit more well read in the area of um, Asian economies, uh, foreign direct investment, uh, corporate social responsibility, particularly um, China, Southeast Asia. Um, my PhD was on uh, economic integration. I basically looked at the uh, European Union. Uh, this was in the uh, early 1990s, so this was kind of before the EU was uh, established. Uh, so what I did was basically to look at the EU model uh, and to see how this could work in uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, Southeast Asia at that time, uh, the ASEAN, uh, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, uh, was kind of uh, fairly young and they were looking at what would be the next step of growth. Uh, so I thought that, uh, you know, how about an economic union for Southeast Asia or, or even for that matter, at that time, a free trade area within Southeast Asia. Uh, how much would it benefit uh, individual countries? Uh, uh, you know, who will gain, who will lose. Uh, so that kind of put me into the track of trade and investment and things like that. Uh, my PhD supervisor at that time was an expert in FDI. So I kind of ended up with FDI. Uh, but with social responsibility, that was uh, in the early 2000 when I was uh, teaching at uh, University of Nottingham. And Nottingham had a center that was well known for CSR. Uh, so they asked me to organize a conference in Malaysia uh, on CSR and that kind of got me uh, into the area of uh, social responsibility. As a teacher, uh, you, my job is to challenge the thinking of students, challenge what is the norm, so that you start to question uh, many of this, uh, many of the assumptions that are taken for granted. Uh, I think as a teacher, that's my job, to, to, to get you to challenge it. I'm not saying go against it, that it's strong, but don't accept everything that you hear or you read. You know, try to figure out whether does it make sense or not. Uh, and in order to do that, obviously, you know, you have to read about different views that people have, uh, you know, so that I can keep challenging those views uh, and uh, not uh, accept anything for granted, really. Right. So, so I think this is where the research and the reading kind of, uh, you know, comes and makes your life interesting, I suppose. I only do two other things. Uh, I watch TV. I love watching the news. But the other one is really flame. Uh, you know, most of my time, you know, when not dealing with academic stuff, it's about, it's dealing with flame. It's uh, essentially a family run NGO. Uh, I come from a large family and most of us are teachers or trainers or educators. Uh, my family has been involved in um, uh, training young teenagers. In my case, I've been doing this since my undergraduate days. So, you know, it goes back 30, 35 years. 